The police get their power from the U.S. Constitution, but around here, they act like it comes from God. Your name's Jay, right? Yes, sir. Well, Jay, I'm Lawrence Bradley with the FBI. I heard you got a little roughed up during the arrest. You okay? Am I spending my life in jail? No. Not if I have any say over it. Technically speaking, you have no obligation to talk to me. But son, I've been doing this job for 38 years. Seen more shit than a porta potty. And I know a career criminal when I see one. What I see right now is a scared teenager who got himself mixed up in something he shouldn't have. So just help me understand how you got so caught up in all of this and uh, we'll get you back home where you belong. Shouldn't I get a lawyer or something? You have a right to one, yes. Hey, can you send over that public defender? One hour's fine. Okay. We'll keep it casual till she arrives, okay? Okay. So your family somehow gets the code to the sheriff's safe. You try to rob him, end up at the Desert Dream. Your brother Tyler says, this place is cool, let's hide out for a while. When did you realize things weren't going to work out so good for you there? I don't have to tell you that. You have rights under the Fifth Amendment, like everybody. What I learned today will shape how I can help you. Do you understand that, Jay? I guess. You should water your plants more. You're right. I didn't even notice. So, let's talk about what happened after the motel. You've been through the ring around this point. Your brother Dale's been killed, so you flee into the forest. Yet when I show up with the local police, you stand by your family like one of those branch Davinians over in Waco. Why'd you do that? Why'd you stick with them? I was scared. Thought if I didn't fight, the cops would shoot me like they shot Dale. So it was self-defense. Cops around here, they ain't bothered if they take you in alive or not. It's not like that everywhere. Most of us can be trusted. <laughs> My son's a linebacker. Got himself a full ride to ASU. Do you like football? Not really. Well, he does. He's out there pursuing his dreams. That's what I want for you too, son. But here's the problem. Forensics has you at the sheriff's house. Witnesses have you at the motel. To get a deal, a, a way out, you need to give up something the DA doesn't already know. And there's only one thing big enough. And that's who made you do what you did that night. See, we had a lot of bodies inside that motel. Four police officers dead at the scene. Another two on life support. Not to mention Vincent Walker with your bullet in his leg. So tell me, who put you up to it? Is that lawyer? Uh, she's coming. Uh, but uh, help me get a head start here, okay? Look, I get that you're scared. You should be. You're 18. You're an adult. You need to show you were just an accessory in this. 
and then maybe you get community service. <laughs> maybe even work. So, for your own sake now, whose instructions were you following? I'm telling you, I'm not guilty. So Walker is, what, lying to us? He saw you shoot him. It was dark. Maybe he got confused. Jay, come on now. <sighs> All right. Look, I didn't want to tell you this way, but we have your mother in a holding cell. We caught her in the woods yesterday. She admitted on polygraph that you boys planned the whole thing. What? I want to be level with you. Prosecutors asking for the death penalty. Get what I'm saying? Oh my god. Mm hmm. State of Arizona wants you for felony murder. Your one chance, your only chance, is to give me something I can use to help you. So please, for the love of God, just tell me who put you up to it. I didn't do anything. You have to believe me. I'll be right back. Good luck. <sighs> nah, don't worry me. Don't worry though. You really want some of the prize for this? He's a guy. Huh? It's a matter of time. I need to hit the job. said it should be. Huh. Holy shit! All right, round two. Hey, you want to solve them heading over the road? Oh, uh, maybe. What's good? I usually go for the barbecue chicken. That sounds just fine. But hold the onion. What the? Son of a bitch. Lock down the station! Thanks again for the ride. Remember, son, Jesus loves even the wayward. I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? 
I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said, well, it don't matter. But I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. I got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer. And now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? Hmm. You know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But... are you sure? Don't worry about me, seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. Probably gonna regret this. But right now you're all I need. I know, Marlon. Two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so... Hello? Who, who's there? Sorry, sorry. You you can. Uh... Oh, Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a. What you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Oh, bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest, take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your 
goddamn sons. <sighs> what we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost a home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Give yourself up. Explain it was a, a burglary that went wrong. <sighs> Throw myself at their mercy? You and me both know it's gone too far for that. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, they say he's... He didn't make it. I never even got a chance to hold him. Tyler. Dale. My beautiful babies. They weren't just my sons, they were... They were my life. And those sons of bitches killed them. No. Murdered them. Sorry. But, Jay, at least he made it, right? Oh, you don't know. Jay escaped from custody, somehow. They're looking everywhere. Jay? My Jay? Oh, God. Please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. Until I went and blew it. So much for happily ever after. I get it. No one should have to be alone. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Walk. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Be honest. You never looked twice at me. I always had a soft spot for you. Life just took us two different ways. You've always been a good friend. When those <sighs> thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. If you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? That night, at the motel, it brought it all back, the war, what we went through. Some nights, I hear Bear through the walls, screaming in his sleep. 
I can't imagine. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Sharon, I'm sorry. I can't. Not again. I'm begging you, please. Just hear me out. Please. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, I know you don't believe me when I say we should have been together. But I say this is my chance to prove I mean it. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion. Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Cuz, it's me. Open up. Shit. It's Dante. <sighs> Fancy seeing you here. You actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, 
Family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that she needs to book to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it meth? Enemy? Dad, no! Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure, let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning, with enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No, I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. I think it's these ones. sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car. And it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. So, 
You're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. Only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. <sighs> Could you hand me my cigarettes? I wish my mom had done this, spread her wings, before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He doesn't get you. Not really. Not deep down. No. He definitely doesn't. And you don't either, by the way. For all you know, I could be a serial killer. Think I'll take my chances. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? about myself to someone I like. What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Well, who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. I know you're in there. I see your damn car outside, Paul. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through. Right. Oh, you look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they say from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez, <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Might take a, uh, take a trip, see the world, live a little, you know? Yeah, live a little, huh? <laughs> well, if I weren't in the
in the middle of this shit storm from hell. I'd be on the next greyhound behind you. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, it's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Oh. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole, and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Guess not. Hey, you mind me asking, uh, why two glasses over there? Uh -huh. <sighs> what can I say, cuz? After last week, I've been drinking them all two at a time. I don't want to preach, but... Take it easy, huh? You won't find peace at the bottom of a vodka bottle. That's why I use the glasses. <laughs> so, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said maybe in hindsight you, you could have handled things differently. But Dante, you gotta understand. No, I understand perfectly. I'm sure you told them exactly what they wanted to hear, didn't you? Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Damn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. A week. <laughs> but Sharon, uh, she'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God.
If you ask me, she's halfway across the country by now. Yeah. Sneaking back to Two Rock is exactly the sort of thing she'd do. Could be right under our noses. Hey, you know we had history, right? Back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. Of course, she was much better looking back then. That's so. Because I always thought it was the other way around. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no. You got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch was crazy as shit. I've done some bullets in my time, cousin, but... <laughs> that one... Mm. Behind you! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Fool. Drop the scissors. I am not going to jail. I'm not. You're just gonna have to kill me. Don't think I won't do this, Sharon. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. You ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? She'll give you the book. We can do a deal, right? Let us go. We, we won't tell no one about the money. What? Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. You'll never get this book. I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get-out-of-jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. You know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can. Sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. Excuse me, have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. 
Todd was pissed when his parents wanted to move to Idaho. But his dad had family here and they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. You're having so much fun. This is the absolute best I have ever felt in my whole entire life. We should take some pills with us for the road. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. person expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will he give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together, in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo will fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please, I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't win them all.
I'll be at the car. Amazing. Dean, why'd you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So, did the two of you... Did you... Uh, wait, are you jealous? I don't know. Maybe. Dean, that's sweet. But don't be. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? Oh, he won't help with that. He... Wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just... Forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. I wish you'd told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Idaho, huh? And I thought it was all potato farms. Something, ain't it? <sighs> You're not like the guys at school. The football players, and the athletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know, you're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And... I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel on Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Uh. 
Are you angry? It's... It's just... a lot. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. And I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Don't be sorry. That was nice. <sighs> Real nice. Maybe we can do it again when we get to Canada. Wait, we? What? You thought I was gonna miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. Y you can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean? Or Jay, I guess? I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do. But... Are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. <sighs> so, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Two Rock over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was, but that's over now. It's like you said, I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. Teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. Thank you.